Hi, it's Dan, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about whether you should still be buying property or not. Everybody, it's Dan Lasso speaking. Hope you're staying safe. So, let's talk about whether or not you should be buying property in the current marketplace. A price is going up, a price is going down. And you know what? Honestly, in my own personal opinion, you should always be buying property. A, B, B, P. Always be buying property. That's a thing. I've just made it up. You should always be buying. Doesn't matter if the price is going up, doesn't matter if the price is going down. This is really dollar cost averaging. So let's use the uh, stock market as an example. Let's say you're saving a thousand pounds a month and the S&P, let's just pick a stock. Let's say M&S, Marks and Spencers. I don't know how much it is, but let's say it's a hundred pound a share. Let's just pretend that's what it is. And you buy a thousand pounds a month. So you buy 10 shares at a hundred pounds and then 50% off the following month. You've lost out of a thousand pounds, that thousand pounds is now only worth 500 pounds. And this is when everybody then starts selling, they start panic uh, selling, we get, start getting rid of everything because they're like, oh my gosh, the sky is falling. Quick, everybody sell. And they're always mistiming the market, these type of people. Whereas if you're dollar cost averaging, you don't need to sell. Heck, you need to be buying. Because now you've just got a, a, a share that, that's a hundred pounds and you're buying 10 of them, now for 50 pounds, you can buy 20 of them. Great, because at some point, that share price is gonna get back up. It might not be tomorrow, it might not be next week, it might not be next year, it might be 10 years, it might be 15, it might be 20, it might be 30 years away. But guarantee that price is gonna go back up. Especially in a recession, as long as M&S actually survive the recession, okay? That's the key. But that price is gonna go back up. And obviously retail is struggling as we know. So maybe m and is not a great share price. But things like utilities, gas, water, electricity, those kind of things maybe. So should you be buying? The answer is yes. But really you should be buying every single month, every single quarter, every single year, as often as you can actually do it. Because then you're able to take advantage of dollar cost averaging because over a period of time, it might be a day, it might be five years, it might be 10 years, it might be 20 years. Over that period of time, property prices are going up, rents are continually increasing, and the value of your debt that you owe is usually decreasing because you've got inflation eroding away, unless you're in a state, state of deflation. But how many times over the last 200 years has the UK been in a state of deflation? Once, twice, I don't know what it is. Not a lot. I and mean, then it's kicked back in anyway, and it's recovered all those losses that it's got. So the answer to the question of should you be buying property is, yes, you should always be buying property. Stop trying to time the market. If you're trying to time the market, I think you're gonna fail, unless you get very lucky, or unless you are a property god and you are a property guru, and everything you do and say turns to gold. I would love that to be me, but that is not me either. I make mistakes, we get it wrong, we lose some money, but on the whole, because we're continually buying property, the stuff's going up, and we're, even if it's not going up, we're able to take advantage of the fact that we're getting these dividends, and we're not dividends, are they, but the yields, the rental payments, the profit on those, that's awesome. I don't care if properties are going down 50%, I don't care. As long as my rents are coming in, and even if my rents drop a little bit, 10, 20%, hey, we've had 10, 20% growth in the last couple of years anyway. So it just takes us back to where we were. And then, if it has dropped 10 or 20%, it's gonna come back in the next couple of years anyway, once we get through recession. Because it has to. So should you be buying property? Hell yeah. Like, I know on our um, uh, estate agency website right now, we've got a property for 70 grand. Uh, and it's got an 8% yield for tenants paying 460 quid. You're gonna make 250 quid a month on that, every single month. That's what, three grand a year? That's not bad, is it, on a 16,000 pound down, including stamp duty and deposits of 20%. That's not a bad deal. And we're tempted actually to buy that one ourselves, but we're going into recession and we're building a war chest to go out and buy businesses, because we think businesses are gonna go on the cheap. People are just fed up of them, we're gonna get rid of them. We'll talk about that in another video. 
So we're building war chests and right now, I mean that's a great deal, 8% yield, we'll take that all day long. Uh, great deal, if you get higher, great, HMOs, a bit more work, but we'll take them as well. Uh, but you should be buying property and if you, you know, if, if you can, you can get the deposits together, you should be buying property. Alright, hope that's useful, just want to share my thoughts on property, whether you should be buying or not. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions, stick them in the box down below, and we'll catch up with you on the next video. My name's Dan Latter, take care.